Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And we have a little joke going on that um, all of Eric's favorite beverages are going to be ending up in the garden, from beer to margaritas. To even milk. To even milk. Fresh milk. How does, how, that doesn't it's sound just, fair. Uh, it does not sound but fair. But it's all, it's all good. It's all good. And so let's, let's walk you through why you want to be sharing some of your favorite beverages with those buggers out there in the yard. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So it turns out that beer, and of all things... Dark ale is really great to keep slugs and snails away. Yeah, and it's really sort of indicative of the bar culture, isn't it? (laughs) Dark ale generally keeps the slugs out of the bar, doesn't it? (laughs) That's funny. So what did the slug say to the other slug at the bar? He walked into the bar, you know. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, so it turns out that what you do is you're going to create a nice frothy cup of beer. Yeah. I know. And, so and when you're, you're home, and you'll just sit it around your so, plants that you want to protect. Well, and that's it. so you're going to go like after you've worked all day and you've you had a nice meal and you're sitting outside and your lovely outdoor porch and and you're thinking you're going to have a beer. You're going to share one in a little cup that you're going to then dig a hole in the ground where you think the slugs might be. Yeah. And you're going to put it in the ground and keep it kind of up to the same surface See, what, with the lawn. What freaks me out more than anything about this is that we now realize that all the rappers who do that thing where they pour the beer into the ground at one for my homies as oh, a salute really? oh, they were, were really just trying to kill they're, slugs well, they're in the neighborhood. That's right. They're major gardening enthusiasts. <laughs> I, I Haven't you seen them? I've seen uh, some yeah, of their books. That's right. They're roses. Oh my gosh, they really have It a, turns out Ice tea has an amazing collection of roses. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the beer, <laughs> you put the beer, the dark air preferably maybe it's not too expensive yeah uh, about a cup of it in a in a container and then you're going to cut a hole in the you know dig a little hole in the ground and then have mix it about your, level to the ground about like level a little to, swimming pool of like beer. a little swimming pool yeah. and it's sad but hey who wins you or the slugs i'm That's thinking it. so the snails are all going to go they're going to go go bye bye drunk junkie bye bye they're going to go get some beer <laughs> it's i know it sounds mean but i mean it's an organic I don't know, I way i can't think of a better way to go it's an organic a way to get the bugs at, so that's that all right so that's going to be your little slug catcher and try that all right yep. the next thing is eggs not the eggs themselves but the egg shells now this isn't for snails but it's for root rot have you ever had root rot in your yard no I don't think so, but I probably wouldn't notice because I've got a pretty big yard, so I wouldn't see certain things that were rot, rotten. Well, I've like had Like, how it. does it manifest? You how, can how would see I know? it because um, we've had it in a, in a citrus tree that's in a container. Let me just start with that as an example. Okay. You look at it, and truly the root, start, the, the, the bark at the base just above the soil starts to look mushy and yellow. Oh. We've had it with the plumeria, too, oh, overwatered, really? and, and it looks literally mushy. I've had it with orchids inside oh, okay. the house. I mean, the, the parallel thing is that it looks mushy okay. and, and it discolored and wrong. And so um, this will uh, control that. And then when you have that root rot problem, it leads to other diseases. And so the whole idea is when you put the egg shells and you crush them up and you, you mix them in the soil, it kind of acts as a, as a barrier. Now, Something about I, and the calcium. I, I probably have six eggshells a day that really? I could utilize in my garden. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Yeah. Well, you don't. You can save the eggshells. Get like a nice container and yeah. save it for the Mash end of the week. Mash them up, maybe. Mash them up and right. then just save them every day. And the end of the week, boom, you're ready for your weekend. And just sprinkle chore. them out on the, on the top of mix the soil. Them, mix them in the mix soil. Them in mix them in a little bit. Little okay, bit. I'm doing it. And I'm you doing can it go, today. Tick, 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 you know, you're feeding. Here's <laughs> your <laughs> shells. Yep. Here's another really good one, milk. Now, I know how you are about your milk and your kids. Yeah. It's really hard to keep. I buy for probably five gallons of milk a week. That's how much they go through milk. That's good that they love milk, right? Well, and it, it, unless it's you driving to the store and getting it every five seconds. Yeah. It, it, I get a little tired of it. You know, I want to say get your own milk. Well, very soon, Wyatt's going to be driving, and he'll oh. get the milk for everybody. See? That's a good point. That's great. He'll be the Maybe milk that's boy. that's my incentive to buy, <laughs> buy him a car, a milk truck. So, a milk truck? <laughs> so, the deal is, whether it's non-fat or half half and half or full or whatever kind you like, you okay. know, whole milk, um, it's just a cup of milk, and you dilute it with two cups of water, and you put it in a spray bottle. So, this is something that's not going to be- I, I, I cannot emphasize the importance of the spray bottle in the home. Everywhere. Everywhere. You could. You should have three of these things. Oh, I see. You can I use it for, dozen. for your bleach or you know, your white vinegar to Keep a kill couple the mold under- for this yep, application. Yep. 
to spray on a light toner if under you want to get an even tan. <laughs> Some of my products under the sink there. But you need these things. You got to have three. So, to sir, five yeah, exactly. When you're out going to one of those big, uh, you know, wholesale club stores or whatever, get like about a dozen of them yeah. and label them and have like you know a few under the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink, and then out for where the garden is. That's you it. are right because now when you have the milk with uh, two cups of water, cup of milk, two cups of water, and you spray it on uh, your flowers, especially your roses, yeah. it's going to prevent those black spots. Have you ever seen those black sure, spots I have seen on those, the yeah. leaves? And um, So just a little milk in a spray bottle diluted just protects. As, as a prevention. Great. Yeah. And the reason why we get black spot a lot of times is, what we, is that we water uh, too late in the day, and then it sits and it stays on the leaves, and then as the evening gets cooler, and then there might be some mist that comes in. Sure. And so, look, you know, how would you feel if all of a sudden all this moisture was coming on you? You get I'd, some black I'd spots. I feel cold and black spots. You'd say, well, I want a blanket for crying I would. out loud. That's what I, exactly what I'd say. <laughs> all right. That's good to know. See? And then, of course, there is pepper. Now, I know you have your puppy, Forrest. Yeah. And is he digging yet in the yard? No, but he is uh, biting everything and chewing shoes. But anyway, go ahead. Oh, okay. So you still can get that stuff that um, it's like a, a citrus uh, gel or spray okay. that you get like at the Petco stores, and you can put that on your furniture. It's like an apple bitter. Oh, oh and they won't, they won't chew? I think it's called like apple bitter He's or something. He's doing a corner of my stair and biting yeah. the carpet off. Yeah, you put it on the there, and then they go, mmm, and they don't like yeah, the taste okay, of it. That. But the same thing is with pepper. You can put that like I've uh, purchased, like the red chili pepper flakes. Uh-huh. Love chili pepper. I do too. They're pr- pretty good. I love the uh, the jalapeno. Yeah. So you you put the chili pepper f- uh, in Serrano chilies. I love Serrano. Too. Go ahead. So you put that in, in in your garden. That'll keep the dog from you know digging. Oh, okay. But now when it comes to bugs, especially aphids and mealy bugs and and uh, sm- spider mites, you get your. I know you love to make some great. What do you make with your chicken? It's like a green. Pepper. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, the uh, salsa, the green salsa. Yeah, yeah. With the tomatillos. The tomatillos. Yeah, like yeah, so yeah. you could use the tomatillos or any kind of a hot pepper with two cups of water, and then again, what the spray bottle? Hello. And you spray that all over. I mean, between your milk. I'm your like a face. sheriff. I'm, I got a holster with all <laughs> these spray bottles. Right? Yeah, da, da. And then the beer in the ground. I mean, you got like a whole thing going on. It's a whole there. meal. It is. Yeah. So, but that's so. That this is, is good really to know, you know, because I, I don't like using a lot of the harsh chemicals. I know. I like to kind of restrict that tiny. So bit. this is the organic it's way. A good to go. idea to do. Another it. thing is dish soap. Now you know we just kind of laugh about oh dish soap, hot little hot water, little dish soap is going to yeah. cure everything. But it is. It's almost like the the movie My Fat Greek Wedding. You know how they were using <laughs> Windex to <laughs> cure everything. Dish soap kind of does that too. Um, it'll control insects, including aphids and mealybugs and spider mites. I have sprayed the soap on the on the rose leaf. The kind that you make or kind you buy? The kind I buy. See, so that's so it's the same stuff. It's the same thing. It's the same stuff. They sell it, yep. you know, insecticide, soap aside, whatever. But you can make it by getting um, a tablespoon of your, you know, kitchen liquid soap okay. and then um, a gallon of water. And then you put the soapy water in where? Right in the spray bottle. The spray bottle, your holster. You- <laughs> so I have visions yeah. of you with your tool belt and you've now got it's about a lot four. of holsters. you got four of these spray bottles You know, I used to wear on. the tool belt and put the wipies when I, when I had the babies, you know, and I was carrying them around and I'd have... A hammer on one side and then some wipies <laughs> on the other. Maybe even a thing of guacamole, a plastic <laughs> lining, you know, just to keep it going. That's great. A lot, you're of, ready a lot for of uses anything. for the tool belt. That's very, very yeah, handy. That's it. So, again, the dish, the dishwater soap uh, with the, with a little bit of water in your spray bottle, and that's going to control aphids and mealybugs and spider mites, and it will it dissolves the, the outer waxy layer that all the insects are covered with. This is the secret. And so that causes the insect to basically dehydrate and die. See, and here's why... I love this idea because the house plants that I bought a couple of months ago, I started seeing the white sort of uh, oh white white spot white spot white, and, white mildew and then uh-huh. like the long strings uh-huh, and stuff. Uh-huh. Took them outside and aired I wiped them out. them out, aired them out. Yeah. But then they were outside too long and they they it got That's so mother. cold that they died. One of oh, them died. Oh, right? okay. Had I just had some of these things in a spray bottle, I could have d- done a quick Kept spray inside, and maybe. then gone back inside with them. And then here's something: if you have orchids or any other kind of uh, indoor plant um, to control insects as well as the the soapy water, just basic rubbing alcohol. Oh yeah, that won't kill okay. the plant. You can it'll control the the scale, the mealybugs, and the spider mites. You just take you're not going to you know put it all over the plant, but you take a, a cotton swab yep. with just a little bit of the alcohol, and then you rub it over the affected area of the leaf, and just treat like one leaf at a time, and that's going to um, to help 
you know, get the the bugs away. You want to wait a couple of days and see whether the alcohol might have injured the plant. It's very, you know, yeah, take baby very steps. Delicate, yeah. But it's it's a gentle way again to dissolve that outer waxy layer that the insects are covered with. It's the same way that the soap works, the soapy water. Great, I'll try it. So now you know to add to your kit this week, this weekend. You want to have what? What? Spray bottles. Some beer. You got to have beer. You got to have uh, your eggs. You got to have your milk. You've got to have your, your pepper. That's it. And then you've got to have a lot of spray bombs. Bugs be gone. Okay. You're listening to Home Wizards, Eric Stromer, Cindy Dahl. When we come back, we have more things to share with you, like how do you make sure that that couple can agree on the design of your choice? Oh, boy, I know about this one. We're going to keep you happy. That's home right. Wizards, we improve your home and improve your life.